Now, as you can see, I keep my yard pretty nice looking, right? I fertilize it, and we did a full overview of the Milwaukee Quick Lock system. I told you when it gets to be spring, we are going to do videos for a lot of these. Now, I have a neighbor that owns this empty lot next to me. He, he never cuts it. He's always blowing his crap over there, but not only that, he owns a freaking helicopter that he flies over head constantly, so we're going to write him a message in his own field. Stick around. I'll show you how well this thing works. So the Milwaukee M18 Quick Lock, you know, we did that overview. I absolutely loved this system. I actually took some heat because people said, well, you couldn't find anything wrong with the review. Well, guess what? I still feel the same way. This thing is simply awesome. Now, this neighbor of mine, he flies overhead with his helicopter. We're going to go into those heavy weeds of his. We're going to write him a nice little message into those weeds, and I'm going to show you how powerful this thing is. Now, I'll tell you, it's 18 volts. If you haven't seen that overview, check it out. We're going to look at every single attachment. This right here today, I'm just going to show you how well and how powerful it is with the weed eater attachment. You pop that thing out and you can put any other attachment. The edger will do a video for that. We'll do all kind of stuff, but I will give you a hint. The first letter of this message starts with an A. Now, if you want all of the specs, I will put an end card at the end of this video for you to go check out that video that I did for this. But as you can see, the second letter is an S. The last letter of that word is S. Now, I think you know where we're going with this, but check out how powerful. I mean, I'm telling you, this is more of a, uh, let me write a message to my neighbor that he can see overhead when he's flying around in his freaking helicopter. And let me show you this thing actually taking down some heavier weeds. Now, a lot of people said, hey, listen, can you show videos of this stuff, you know, or of these attachments doing their thing out in the spring, taking down the heavier weeds, and we are going to do that. But let me finish up this next letter. It's going to start with an H. Now, what's nice about this is I can cut really wide, clean swaths of this heavier grass out here. So this can be very visible from the air. I feel like it's doing a great job spelling this out for me, but... Uh, I will actually let you hear this towards the end when we start doing some other trimming, maybe not even some of the heavier stuff, but I will tell you the power is there. Now, if you're a professional, which they actually gear this for, um, it is probably just as powerful as a gas or as much as, a, as you would need to get that work done. I mean, just check it out. It's plowing through. Now, this grass is really wet. These weeds are really wet. It's been raining here in Ohio. Uh, it's June. 16th it has been raining for the last like five days and we got like eight more days of rain but it's just going through the stuff like a champ and all oh, by the way i just did an o and an l and as far as it goes the weight on this thing it's really not that heavy at all i mean no heavier than what you would feel during a gas model i mean it just takes the stuff down you can see that water getting sprayed off of that those weeds there just a mess out here and a close-up view it just I'm telling you, it is a powerful, powerful machine for an 18 volt. You know, I would expect it maybe out of a 60 volt or whatever. For for the 18 volt, we're using the 12 AH battery here. Um, it just goes, man. Now I will turn the volume up for you to let you hear this, just so you know. I'm finishing out my E. That was the last letter of what I was trying to spell out here. I think you can put it together. Um, but the other thing is, you know, you can put a strap on here if you want. I really like that it's long. you got that longer shaft that you can, you know, really reach. You don't have to worry about bending over. It's not curved. It is just really nice, and you're not getting any of those fumes. Listen how quiet this thing is. This takes that heavy stuff down. It is, it is crazy. You're not hearing any motor going. You're just hearing, you know, maybe that shaft turning a little bit on the inside and the line. That is it. No motor. Again, really easy to get up on those higher to reach areas. Up on that hill, you're not bending down. You're not reaching too far. Got that really nice shaft. Yeah, I know. But even if you want to go around and get some of that lighter uh, grass that you have to uh, trim down, not an issue. 
changing out the string super easy to do and if you wanted to if you didn't want to go into a high speed alternator to serve that battery life you can put it down into a low speed simply by hitting that it'll turn it into like a turtle like turtle light will light up and now you can do this really helps conserve that battery power you don't have to worry about it dying too fast but if you want to go fast again you know here's the low if you want to go fast you just crank it up on high and it, it just goes I mean, it is a powerful powerful lead eater lead whacker whatever you want to call it just takes that stuff down and what's nice about that slow mode is that <laughs> you don't have to worry about damaging your, your lattice or anything around your porch or your patio and you just kick it up into high gear again. So that's really nice. I mean, check it out. Just, I mean, I'm telling you. you know, I talked. I took some heat on that video because I, I did not find anything wrong with it. And I stand by that. I have not had one issue. It is extremely easy to change out the heads on this thing. You want to go into an edger mode, that's fine. The only thing I will say is right here, the trigger. I wish it went all the way down into the casing. It does get a little bit annoying because you feel like you want to keep on pushing that trigger down. And, I mean, it is what it is. That's just my thing. Uh, it's a small, small issue. I got the 12 AH battery on here. We have three bars left on this. And we've been going through all of this stuff here. It, it is a powerful, powerful machine. So if you're looking at whether or not you want to get this, I mean, it's up to you. I, I really don't care. You know, if you get it or not, that's your call. What I'm telling you, though, is it is a powerful, powerful weed eater for battery powered, no gas. You pull the freaking trigger and it goes, you know, the, the quick head attachment, it works perfectly. The edger works perfectly. We'll do videos for that. You know, the, the pole saw, the head trimmer, we're going to do videos for all that. I wanted to put this in the real world. I wanted to show you not just an overview, but this thing being used heavily, mind you, out in that field area with the higher weeds and again, three battery bars still left on that. It's pretty impressive. It is an awesome, awesome machine. I want to know what you think. Uh, I'm sure some of you probably have this out there. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the Milwaukee Quick Lock. What do you like about it? What maybe you don't like about it? And I'll also put a link in the description below for this. If you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, check us out, tourreviewzone.com. We'll be back with more videos soon.